Module 6, Day 3. Primarily, Module 6 is uh, Experiment 6.1, Measuring Acceleration in an Elevator. Sadly, we will not be doing this in class. Um, we do not have access to an elevator. If you want to do it at home or um, while you're away or traveling or whatever, please do so. Um, I'd love to hear your results. So let's jump to on your own 6.4. A spherical mass, 50.0 kilograms, hangs from a string in an elevator, as illustrated in the drawing to the right. If the tension in the string is 460 newtons, what is the acceleration, magnitude, and direction of the elevator? From this information, is it possible to tell whether the elevator is moving up or down? Why or why not? Okay, let's at least figure out. We know we have the mass, which is 50 kilograms, and it tells us it's the mass. We know we're going to have to calculate the weight. So let's just jump ahead to do that. Weight equals mass times gravity, so 50.0 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared is 490 newtons. So we have that. We know that there are only really two forces that we're talking about. One is the gravity going down, holding, um, pulling the mass down, and then we also have the tension pulling it up from the string right here. So we're going to define gravity as pulling it down, and the tension as pulling it up, a positive number. All right, so now we have to take the sum of all the forces equaling the mass times the acceleration. Again, we have the tension pulling it up minus the gravity, the weight pulling it down equals mass times acceleration. We know the tension, it told us, was 460 newtons. We calculated the weight, 490 newtons. And then we know what the mass is. So when we rearrange and solve for this equation, we get the acceleration as negative 0.6 meters per second squared. Since we define down as negative, the elevator is accelerating downward at 0 0.6 meters per second squared. We cannot determine which way the elevator is moving, however. It might be moving upward. Since acceleration is negative, that would, be, that would mean it would be slowing down. However, it might also be moving down, and if that's the case, it is speeding up.